I understand you're troubled by the arms sale. The Nazis were a bad analogy. We're not fighting a war with Kumar. Well, this isn't the point, but we will. Of course we will. Of course we'll be fighting a war with Kumar one day, and you know it. So, well, at least we'll be familiar with the weapons they're using. We need Khalifa Air Base. We refuel there, and we keep AWACS radar. We don't need it. It's convenient. CJ. We don't need it. We've got Turkey, we've got Bahrain, we've got Diego Garcia. Kumar's convenient. Yes, it's convenient. They beat women, Nancy. They hate women. The only reason they keep Kumari women alive is to make more Kumari men. So what do you want me to do about How it? How about instead of suggesting that we sell the guns to them, suggesting that we shoot the guns at them? And by the way, not to change the subject, but how are we supposed to have any moral credibility when we talk about gun control and making sure the guns don't get in the hands of the wrong people? God, Nancy, what the hell are we defining as the right people? This is the real world, and we can't isolate our enemies. I know about the real world, and I'm not suggesting we isolate them. You're suggesting that we eliminate them. I have a briefing. You're suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. I don't suggest foreign policy around here. You are right now. It's the 21st century, Nancy. The world's gotten smaller. I don't know how we can tolerate this kind of suffering anymore, particularly when all it does is continue the cycle of anti-American hatred. But that's not the point either. What's the point? The point is that apartheid was an East Hampton clam bake compared to what we laughingly refer to as the life these women lead. And if we had sold M1A1s to South Africa 15 years ago, you'd have set the building on fire. Thank God we never needed to refuel in Johannesburg. It's a big world, CJ, and everybody has guns, and I'm doing the best I can. They're beating the women, Nancy.